Hey everyone, this is Rob Moshe from robmoshe.com. I wanted to make a quick video answering a question that I got from a fellow coach, Deborah P. And she asked with regards to getting new clients and building her practice, where should I focus my efforts? Website, leaflets, networking events, old work colleagues, online, social media, etc. So definitely in building a client building, product business building campaign, there's a lot of elements, but I just want to touch on a few to answer that question. The first thing, before you can even start and decide where you're going to reach out and build that client base is you have to know who your client is. That's the number one. You have to know who your market is, who your client is. What's the service that you're offering? And do you have an ideal client? Right? And that's the idea of niching. It's very hard being, especially when you're reaching out and building a coaching practice, practice if you're generic it's it's way too broad it's really important to niche in and figure out where you exactly need to focus what are your strengths what are your gifts and what are your capabilities and who are the people that you can help once you have an idea of that it's time to start looking for meaningful connections it's so easy to get caught up in having 5,000 followers on Facebook tens of thousands of followers on Twitter, all your LinkedIn connections, but very often it can just be a mix of time wasters. We spend a lot of time building that, but we have no real connection to these people. And then we spend time tech checking the stats and seeing if anybody's responded to our tweets and seeing if there's a conversation. And to a certain extent, it becomes grasping at straws. So my suggestion is, is again, one, is make sure you know who your client is, what your niche is. And then look towards your meaningful connections, the deep relationships that you have already, the people that you know, that you trust, that care about you, that can broadcast you. It could be online. Maybe you have a friend that has a website and is doing something that is very different from what you're doing, but they might have your client base so they can share you. So there's an opportunity to build relationships. Or whether it's leaflets in media, online media or social media, it's an opportunity where you can connect and almost have a warm lead, a warm connection. But to just go out there cold, I feel like you'll be spinning your wheels. There's that idea that there's six degrees of separation. Right? Between you and the person you want to connect to, there are six people. They say with the internet today, it's down to three or four. But the idea is, who do you know in your network that can connect you with your potential client? It's so much more valuable and it's so much more worth your time to start small, to find one person to connect to that you can build a relationship, and then two and then three. And then ideally, you should really want to stop at around 100. When you have 100 meaningful connections, you have an amazing web of relationships and networks to connect to your potential client. And it's much better to focus on that than to go for these hundreds of thousands and those 10,000. So just again, to recap, know who your client is, figure out your niche and who the person is that you really want to connect to. After that, reach out to the people that matter in your life and who you matter to, your deep relationships, whether you met them, met them at a networking event, whether you met them during your coaching training, wherever it might be, family, friends, relatives, make that list and figure out the people that you can connect to. And after that, start having them introduce you, warm connections. Look for those warm connection opportunities. Whenever you find yourself going into a cold situation, a cold call, a cold connection, take a quick mental check there and say, should I really be doing this? Is this really worth the energy and effort that I'm, that I'm about to put in? We only have so many hours in the day and if we spend all our time in these cold leads and cold connections, we'll often find that we're spinning our wheels. So there's some ideas that uh, I hope it's helpful and I hope you can run with that and find those meaningful connections to lead you um, to your potential clients and your success. Have a great day.